Welcome to the Cabin Cruiser Boating Adventure. One of the problems caused by the pandemic this year is that I've been unable to get the Swamp Ducks outboard engine serviced. Normally around about January or February I arrange for the River Canal Rescue Organisation to come along, take the engine off, they take it away, get it serviced and then they bring it back, remount it and set it up for me. But because of lockdown I was unable to travel down to uh, enable them to do that. So I've been in touch with them and they're going to extend their servicing season slightly. Normally it runs from November until the end of March but they've agreed to extend that this year so that it will run slightly into the beginning of May. So for a little while in May I will be without the engine. So that gives me an opportunity to do a few jobs on the boat one of which is to replace the front window. It is quite uh, difficult to see out of it because I think over the years people have cleaned it probably with an abrasive material and so it's not very clear. So I want to change that and also the rubber surround looks like it's uh, perished in one or two places so I'm going to replace that. So one of the jobs I've come down to do today is to measure that up so that I can at least send for the rubber surround and I can go and get some of the perspex. It is quite windy today so the camera may pick up uh, a fair amount of wind noise. So this is the window that I want to replace. So it measures 137 centimetres. By 44. So that's what I need to replace it with. This is plastic um, glass. And that's what I'm going to replace it with. Reason being that this acts as an emergency escape so it'd be quite easy to to remove that from the inside in an emergency The seal itself is 2.5 centimetres wide. And it's just a matter of working out the uh, profile of it for the uh, glass that I intend to replace it with, or at least the plastic I intend to replace it with. So you can see here, this is where the rubber has now perished and there's hardly any of that left there so this needs this whole thing needs replacing one of the things that I want to do this afternoon is to give this whole deck area a really good thorough clean and polish it does get very dusty when it's been left for any period of time
I do like to spend quite a bit of time keeping the uh, swamp duck in very clean and pristine condition. At the end of the day, she's uh, an old lady. She's uh, only a few years off being a vintage. She was built in 1973. So in a couple of years she will, she will be a real classic. So I think it's worth spending quite a bit of time keeping her in as good a condition as possibly can. And that includes the engine which uh, was built in 1984. Which makes it about 36, 37 years old. Each time it goes away, it comes back, touch wood, with a really good report. So there we are, I think that will do for this afternoon. It's all had a good clean out, the boxes underneath, and all the bench seats have been wiped down. I like to leave the ropes nice and tidy before I leave the boat. I think it just looks good. to source a rubber window seal for the boat. I bought it from Amazon and it cost me £5.69 per metre and I bought four metres which will be plenty. If I try and show you the profile of it, it has a slot at the top and the bottom of three millimetres and then a slot that runs all the way up the middle in which you insert a filler. So the idea is that you fit it to the perspex and then to the boat and then once you've done that you insert that and that provides a, 
uh, an anchor for it and keeps it in place. That's the theory, we'll see how we get on. I've also managed to source the Perspex again from an Amazon company. This Perspex is 3mm uh, in depth and then it's uh, one and a half meters in length and it's uh, 50 centimeters wide so there's plenty of it and uh, it could be slightly stronger than the PVC that I'm taking out. On Sunday this week the River Canal Rescue are coming to Sutton Cheney Wharf to collect my uh, outboard engine to take it off for a service so I'm going to be without an engine for a little while. So that gives me an opportunity to do the window. So once they've been, I'm going to take the old window out and bring it back here because it'll serve as a template so that I can use it to uh, mark the new PVC and take it into the workshop and cut it out in readiness. It's uh, now Monday the 24th of May 2021 and things haven't gone quite according to plan. Um, the engine still hasn't been uh, taken by the uh, River Canal Rescue because they had a problem with their, one of the engineers who was due to come on the uh, Sunday uh, and he unfortunately had a bit of an accident and uh, broke a broken ankle so he wasn't able to do it. So they have rescheduled it and uh, it's going to now be uh, taken away on June the 8th which is fine by me because shortly after that I am going away so I'm not going to be wanting the boat but I do want to uh, make a start on replacing the window at the front here and there are one or two of the jobs that I need to be getting on with inside the boat. Unfortunately, May in the UK has been a really horrible month as regards weather. It's been very, very wet and trying to uh, look for a couple of days where it's going to be dry has been very difficult. I thought this morning when I left home it was lovely, it was beautiful sunshine and I'll be okay. But halfway here the heavens opened. So I've rigged up some tarpaulin over the boat so if it does uh, come on to torrential rain as I'm doing this job, I can at least cover it over and stop the boat from getting wet inside. So I'm going to make a start very shortly, but first of all I've got the, got the kettle on and a cup of tea. So before I can actually start taking the window out, there are a few jobs that I need to do here in the boat first of all. I uh, need to remove the uh, curtain and uh, the the little rail here that keeps the curtains uh, in place and I need to clear all this out of the way so it makes a uh, less of a mess. So as soon as the kettle's boiled and the tea's made I'm going to make a start. You'll have to go down there on the floor sorry.
Okay, so there is a bit of blue glue in the sky, so here goes nothing. And I really hope this will come out quite easily. So you have this middle filler. So it has to come out first. And out it comes. Simple as that. I'm hoping the replacement uh, will go in just as easy as that came out. I'm keeping that, that is my template now, so I need to take that back to the workshop and match that against the new PVC that I've bought and cut it out. So the next job is to remove the rubber, which is really all perished. I need to get this whole area cleaned up really. So that's a little bit uh, cleaner and ready for the new rubber to go on. Whilst the window is out, it makes it quite easy for me to have access to the tunnel light. So I'm going to just uh, remove the tunnel light and put a new rubber seal underneath it. it hasn't been changed in a few hundred years, so I'll uh, do that and it'll maybe keep a little bit more water out. This hook here is to hold up the lantern and uh, I made that out of a, an IKEA spanner. Okay so having taken this tunnel light off it's in a, a lot worse state than I thought. I'd like to preserve it if I could, but it's going to need a little bit of uh, TLC in the workshop, so I'm going to leave it off and take it home and see what I can do. If not, then it may have to be looking for a suitable replacement. So it's now a matter of uh, putting a bung in the hole before the weather uh, changes and it gets uh, wet again. There's some really dark clouds looming overhead. Okay, so I have made a nice wooden bung to go in here, because I'm obviously going to have to leave this like this for a day or so, until I can get the perfect cut to size. and get that to fit. So this is my wooden bung from the inside, which I, I made at the workshop. Use some flooring boards and some of the original wood from the boat that I saved. Thinking they could come in useful at some stage. And here we are. This is its day. 
So it hasn't just gone a little bit dark, it's uh, gone very dark and it's absolutely thrown it down with rain. I don't know whether you can hear it. But just as uh, I got this hole bunged up, the heavens opened. But it's nicely protected, there are two layers of uh, plastic sheeting on there. I'll just show you the inside. Now I've got the cabin lights on. So I feel happy that I can leave this uh, whilst I go and get the glass cut. Make use of the template. And uh, maybe go and have a look at sourcing a new tunnel light if this one uh, doesn't uh, come up to scratch. There are some other jobs that I want to, to do. I want to replace this rail. It's uh, showing signs of rot, especially at the end here. And, uh, and I want to try and replace it with something a little bit smarter, some metal, but it does mean going inside and uh, removing some bolts. I'm going to have to remove the solar panel. Removing the handrail also gives me the opportunity to renew the roof lining. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this leather, faux leather down, and I'm going to replace that with some wooden buttons that go all the way down which as it was when I first bought it I had to take them all down the roof timbers because they were all rotten but I'm going to replace them keep the insulation that's underneath there which is already in which seems to have stuck better than the faux leather and then on the sides here I have a template at home which I saved to uh, make some slats and um, some surrounds for the front window and the side just to neaten all that up because it, it's come unstuck there it just doesn't stick very well no matter what you do and it just looks scruffy okay so I've now cut out the uh, PVC I'm using the old window as a framework and uh, I'm going to attempt to install it. The weather's looking a little bit iffy again today. There's some dark clouds ahead. So I'm keeping the uh, tarpaulin handy just in case I need to cover up very quickly. So let's get on with it. So I'm told that the best place to start is at the top of the window in the middle here. That's where you need your join and uh, feed it f round from there. So I'm just gonna have a go at doing that first. Okay, so I've almost got all the way around, just got to the join here. So I need to make sure that I cut that as accurately as I can. Because I noticed when I took the last one out, it would it was it had been cut short by about that much. And I don't know how much you need to sort of kind of leave for um, expansion and contraction, but I'm sure it will have an effect. So I'm gonna try and cut it as closely as I can. The rubber will fill out as uh, I, put the I put the PVC in and then put the, the filler put the filler in and that should keep it in place. 
So although this was a little bit fiddly, I think this was probably the easier part. The next bit is putting the uh, PVC in, which is going to be fun. To actually fit the window into the uh, rubber, you first of all need to lubricate it with uh, a little bit of um, fairy liquid and some water just to loosen things up a bit. So I'm going to get that now. So having now put the rubber on, I've now gone round the glazing slot and put in some fairy liquid. Okay, so I've got the rubber surround in and I've got the window in. I've just got to put the uh, middle retaining rubber piece in, which is going to be even more fun. Of course, it did rain whilst I was doing this, so I had to quickly put the uh, tarpaulin over and work underneath, which wasn't very easy to do. Okay, so the tools that I'm using to, to do this is I found it useful just to have a spanner which will is, is, is big enough just to open the gap up and then as you feed the spanner along you can just feed the rubber insert into the gap and I've made quite a lot of progress doing it like that. It's also helping that it is now a warm day and uh, it's helping the rubber to be a little bit more supple and it slots in a lot easier. So after a lot of struggling, uh, I've got the window installed. Just need to go around the edge of it now with a bit of paint just to uh, cover up where the uh, previous window was taken out. And then I can move on to the next uh, few jobs that I have lined up. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please press the subscription button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen on your mobile phone or tablet. Please press the bell icon on the home page of the channel and you'll be notified by YouTube each time I upload a new video. Please give us a thumbs up and leave any comments below as I do enjoy reading them and I will respond to each and every one of them. So thank you for watching and do take care.